Our top story, a Bemidji school bus hit broadside by a car that ran a stop sign this morning. Dozens of students were injured. Authorities say none were critically hurt. Our Josh Peterson joins us live now and has more on the details of the crash. Josh? Thanks, Dennis. Bemidji School Bus 25 was en route to drop students off for another day of school. However, the day quickly changed for those students, sending many of them to the hospital. Driving conditions were considered near perfect this morning when the accident happened. Bemidji Area Schools Bus 25 was traveling southbound on Irvin Avenue when an eastbound driver on South Mobile Lake Road drove through a stop sign and struck the bus on its right side. That caused the bus to lose control and swerve onto the west side of Irvin Avenue and then roll onto its side into the ditch, injuring many of the bus's occupants. None of the injuries are critical. Um, there are some that are considered to be serious injuries um, and then the rest of them were uh, more minor injuries where they were able to treat the children and uh, release them to their parents. Authorities believe the driver was not from the area and was unfamiliar with the road and may not have seen the stop sign because he might have been blinded by the morning sun. The sound of the crash was so loud that residents down the road thought there was an explosion and hurried outside to take a look. All our doors and windows are closed and it was like a giant explosion. I was afraid that there was a fire that erupted in the house across the highway because it sounded like an explosion. Local residents and rescue crews quickly extracted the students from the bus and those who appeared not to be injured were transferred to another bus, many of them suffering only bumps and bruises. Two children were pinned inside the bus and one had to be extricated by the Bemidji Fire Department. Five students were transferred by ambulance and one was airlifted to the emergency room at Sanford Hospital in Bemidji. The Bemidji School District says that the students on the bus were traveling to different schools. We have uh, students from the Red Lake area uh, as far as uh, attending Northern Elementary School. There were students that attend Paul Bunyan uh, Kindergarten Center, um, the students that attended uh, Central Elementary. As soon as the Bemidji School District got word of the crash, the district quickly enacted its crisis plan. Everyone was notified. Uh, we have um, uh, kind of sprung into action uh, to uh, take care of kids and make sure that uh, we communicate uh, the issues as clearly and, and uh, uh, precisely as we can to parents. Onlookers at the scene felt the magnitude of the crash and are hoping and praying for the best. I am just praying and grateful for the uh, paramedics and everybody who is helping right now and I'm anxious to hear about how everything is. I'm a retired school teacher, but all lives matter, you know, and I hope some child isn't going to lose their life over this. The Bemidji School District and Sanford Hospital staff handled crisis care with additional assistance from the Upper Mississippi Mental Health Center and several area pastors. Now the driver of the vehicle who struck the bus was rushed by ambulance from the scene to Sanford Hospital and was listed in serious condition. Dennis, back to you. Thanks, Josh. Again, none of the injuries considered critical. Sanford Health also put in a hotline for parents today who were seeking additional information to call right after the crash happened. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.